Hi there, Lyman Cedar speaking to you from LymanCedar.com and Lyman Cedar TV. Today's book review is Vilpa by Roy Baumeister and John Tierney. This is the book that is titled Vilpa. Now, I've been struggling with my weight loss program for quite some time and uh, especially with the detox dieting phase. I mean, I'm a guy who's known to have a devil in his stomach, a devil's pit. And asking me to resist gastronomical pleasures, I mean, that is like... Uh, uh, reminiscent of asking a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. Now, I generally marvel at those female and male models who keep gyrating in front of these uh, before and after photographs that come across uh, advertising um, for products and packages, uh, products and services whereby you can actually lose weight. So, I ask myself this universal question, why is it that they can lose weight while I cannot? Is it just a question of willpower? So, I decided I was going to purchase this book. Now, why did I decide to purchase this book? One is because the title, Willpower, just screams out aloud. And the second part is, you have people like Steven Pinker, the author of uh, is that How the Mind Works and The Blank Slate. You have Stephen Dubner, who is the author of Freakonomics and Super Freakonomics. You have Dan Ariely, who is the author of Predictably Irrational. You also have David Allen, Getting Things Done. Daniel Gilbert that is stumbling on happiness and you also have positive reviews by the Wall Street Journal, the Daily Beast and Kirkus reviews. So obviously if everyone's speaking so well about this book, there should be something worthwhile. So I decided to buy the book. Now what is it that I loved about this book? Let me give you the five points, the five basic points. The first one, the, the authors manage, uh, the authors that is Raw, Bob, Meister and John Tierney managed to give a concept like willpower, it managed to give a psychological, scientific, measurable and, um, uh, you know, uh, a face. They managed to give it a feel uh, of physical presence through experimentations, uh, observations and unbiased explanation. That's the first part. The second one is the anecdotes and examples. Quite a number of them. You have uh, uh, singer Eric Clapton. You have uh, the politician, what's his name, Elliot Spitzer. You have uh, the writer Anthony Tro Trollope, then American U illusionist and uh, extreme uh, endurance artist David Blaine. You also have controversial singer and guess her middle name, all right? Her middle name is Amanda fucking Palmer. That's her nickname. You have comedian and showman Drew Barry, and uh, Drew Carey, sorry, what am I saying, Drew Barry. Uh, and you also have a television host, Oprah Winfrey. All of them sharing their bits, their life, and the author has managed to give a general opinion about what they went through, what was the struggle that they faced, and how it is applicable in this book. Pretty well done. You also have uh, the amazing experiments that were mentioned, um, the radish and cookie, which most of you must have read. If you have not read, you must read these books. Then you also have the example of the Israeli judge who, based upon um, you know the judgments of over a hundred cases, how these judges from morning to evening, what was the difference? How did they perform in the morning and how did they perform in the evening? Uh, so different experiments are mentioned there. I also liked the simplicity of the language. The language is very simple, very readable. And the best part was the packaging, the way the explanations were given were very interesting. And last if not the least, the, the summary in the end encapsulated almost everything. And uh, you didn't have to read in between, although uh, you, you could say that I, I underlined a couple of um, words and sentences and uh, I mean, see, like I've underlined the whole paragraph here. So they were really good takeaway stuff that you can use and reflect upon. Um, could there be certain areas that this book could have improved? I doubt because I think what the authors have done is they have given you what is required without making it too complicated. And even though they are highly educated, I mean, they try to make it useful for the layman. So overall summary, a truly informative book, amazing stories, superb anecdotes and very intriguing uh, with interest laced style of um, communication. So if you had to ask me, um, even though this book was kind of priced a little high, I wouldn't say very high, it would be just about average. I would say I love the book and I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. I think uh, the authors have done an amazing job. And if you want to know more about willpower or you're keen about psychology or understanding Human beings, I think this is a must-have book. So ladies and gentlemen, this was Willpower by Roy 
by Meister and John Tyranny. I hope I got their names right. I always have a problem with names. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is Roy Macedo speaking to you from RoyMacedo.com and Roy Macedo TV. If you have any worthwhile book that you'd like me to review, let me know. You can contact me on Roy at RoyMacedo.com. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.